Hello, my name is Samantha Hinkle, and the purpose of this presentation is to demonstrate how to create a spreadsheet using Excel. What you're first going to do is go over to your Start menu, find Excel, and open it. Once Excel is open, you're going to start entering your data into the cells. I already have a spreadsheet created with the data entered, so let's go ahead and take a look at that one. After you've entered your data into the cells, you're going to start widening the cells. You'll find that some data is too wide for the cells, such as last name and gross salary. To correct this so the data fits, place the pointer on the line between the columns on the column header. The pointer will change to a double-headed arrow. You're going to click and drag the double-headed arrow to the right to make sure all the data fits. I'm going to go ahead and do this to all my cells that need to be formatted. Once you've finished widening your cells, it's normal to go ahead and add a date to your spreadsheet. Click the cell where you want the date to go, go up to your tabs, hit the formula tab, then you're going to have the option of date and time on your ribbon. Go ahead and click date and time, and in this case we're going to choose the today function. Once you click the today function, a box will show up like so. Go ahead and press OK, and your date's automatically added to your spreadsheet. Now that we have added the date, I'm going to show you how to add the range name to a cell. In this case, I'm going to add a range name to cell C6. What I'm going to do to add the range name is I'm going to click on cell C6. I'm going to go up to the name box and type in the desired name that I want. In this case, I'm going to type in rate and I'm going to press enter. Now cell C6 has the name of rate. In the next step, I'll show you how to use the range name to simplify creating formulas. Now there are many different types of formulas you can use when creating a spreadsheet. In this case, I'm going to use two different formulas, one for employee deductions and another one for net salary. For employee deductions, I'm going to go ahead and click on cell C9 and type in my formula, which is equal sign B9 times rate, and I'm going to press enter. And the formula automatically configures the deductions for me. Now for the net salary, I'm going to click on cell D9 and type in my formula, which is equal sign B9 minus C9. Press enter, and once again, the formula automatically calculated the net salary. Now the way that you copy the formula to the other cells is by simply clicking on the cell, moving the pointer over to the fill handle, and dragging the fill handle to the desired cells. I'm going to go ahead and do this for net salary also. Now let's look at how to apply a style. A good reason to apply a style to your spreadsheet is because it makes it look more attractive. To apply a style, you simply drag your mouse over the cells that you want the style formatted to. In this case, it's going to be A2 through D2. Once you've selected your cells, go to the Home ribbon, go to Styles, click the drop-down menu, and you'll see all the different styles you can select. I'm going to select Accent 1. As you can see, once I selected Accent 1, it formatted my cells by changing the background color and the font color. At this point, let's look at how to align your cells. As you can see, all the data is shifted to the left. I want to align the cells in the center for A2 through D2. So what you do is you select your cells, you go to the Home ribbon, you go to Alignment, and since I want to center, I'm going to hit Merge and Center. And as you can see, it went ahead and centered my data for me. Now for number formatting, I'm going to add currency to cells B9 through D12. To do that, I'm going to select them cells. I'm going to go to my home ribbon. I'm going to go to the number options, click the drop down box, and select currency. And as soon as I selected currency, it changed all my cells for me. The last thing I'm going to show how to do is how to change font color. To change font color, you're simply going to drag your mouse over the cells that you want to change the color of. In this case, I'm going to change C9 through C12. You go to your home ribbon, go to your font options, and click the color that you want. I'm going to choose red. Once you've selected your color, it automatically changes for you. Now that I've shown you how to successfully complete a spreadsheet, you should now be able to complete one on your own. If you stumble into any problems, just refer back to this tutorial. Thank you.